Hello there and um, welcome to Yoga Physio Zone and I'm Sinead and I'm a yoga teacher and I'm also a physiotherapist and I'm going to talk about something that's really close to my heart and that is hyperflexibility. So hyperflexibility uh, is a lot more common um, than you would imagine and what it is is people who have joints that have beyond the normal range of motion. Okay, now if you're not sure if you're hypermobile or not, what I'd ask you to do is just to put your elbow out straight like that and straighten it as much as you can. Now I'm not hypermobile and as you can see, my elbow kind of, when it straightens, is in a fairly straight line. A lot of people who are hypermobile, their elbow kind of bends backwards a little bit. So not only, um, this is Bob by the way, Bob is my assistant today. So not only is their elbow when they straighten it, it's actually almost bending backwards like that, okay? Um, because you're looking at your body all the time, you mightn't even realize that this is the case, but you should suspect it if, you know, somebody kind of tells you, wow, you've really bendy elbows. It also happens in people's knees that when they stand straight, instead of the knees being straight, they're kind of bending backwards. So they're kind of coming back this way. Those are two of the indications that you might be hyperflexible. One of the other ones is if you can bend your thumb right back to touch off your forearm, that's another one. Um, one of the other things that hypermobile people can do is, even though they may be quite stiff sometimes when they loosen out, without any bit of stretching or anything, they can like bend right down and put their hands on the ground no bother having done no exercise you know ever so they just have this innate flexibility you should also suspect that you're hypermobile if you are one of these people who clicks and cracks a lot so maybe clicks your knuckle clicks your knuckles in your hands or clicks your neck or clicks your back um or has to kind of do these clicks to get relief so those are just some of the indications that you might be hyperflexible. Now you can go to a physiotherapist um, to have that checked out for you. Um, but suspect that you're hyperflexible if you're fitting into some of the picture that I'm talking about. Now the problem with hyperflexibility, it's got really positive aspects and also quite negative aspects, okay? So you would often see very good gymnasts they are hyperflexible because they can do all kinds of super bendy and amazing things. Um, a lot of the ballerinas that you would see um, are hyperflexible as well because their flexible joints allow them an amazing range that the likes of me and the normals of the world. Um, I'm not calling you abnormal, I'm just having a little joke. Please don't get too sensitive about it. So basically, um, so, um, you know, they, they excel at things like that. And a lot of the people who, um, you know, contortion artists and all of that. So you can do amazing things with, with your body. And in terms of yoga, a lot of the really good yogis um, are also hyperflexible. They can do these amazing bendy poses that I will never be able to do, even if I'm practicing yoga for, you know, a hundred years, I still won't be able to because my joints and bones won't let me. So you guys make great yogis but the problem is if you access this huge flexibility you need to have the stability to go with it so you need to have really strong muscles supporting those very flexible joints or you end up with joint problems and typically as a physio we start to see people who are hyperflexible you know once they get into their late 30s and their 40s starting to have a lot of aches and pains because their joints are just a little bit too mobile um, for what their life needs them to be. Now, so by strengthening up, you can actually make those joints help you again. Yes, they will still be hyperflexible. They'll have this great flexibility, but they will have the strength to support that flexibility. Now, here comes the interesting part. Sometimes people who are hyperflexible can actually be quite stiff, okay? So a typical one, for example, is that somebody who is hyperflexible might actually not be able to do this, okay? That they might actually only be able to open their hips, let's say this much. 
And usually it's that the muscles of their thighs are actually quite tight, okay? So once they actually start stretching their muscles, they actually access that huge amount of flexibility that they do have. So you can have this stiffness, which is in fact muscle stiffness and not joint stiffness. And when you unstiffen the muscle, when you strengthen it up, when you you know do stretches and, and stretch it out, then you can access that, that very mobile joint. And then that's when you need to get the muscles strong to support that mobile joint. Whereas somebody like me, who's not hyper flexible, my limiting factor may be my muscles, that they're tight, but at the end of the day, my joints will only go so far. So a good example for me, I don't have great flexibility in my shoulders. So when I get to there, I actually can't go anymore. I, I will never be able to get my arm flat onto the ground behind me when I lie down. At least I don't think I will. But that shoulder will not allow, my bone structure will not allow that shoulder to go any farther. Whereas somebody who's hyperflexible will often be able to lift their shoulder and they'll actually have the arm way back there. While you can see I have to turn in order to get my hand there, way back there. But somebody who's hyperflexible often will be able to get the arm way, way back there. So they can do great like puppy poses and fantastic um, um, you know, crabs, um, or as they call it, the wheel pose, they can do great ones that I'll never be able to do. So my limiting factor is my joints at the end of the day. Once I get all my muscles nice and loose, my joints will stop me from going further in movements. Whereas people who are hyperflexible, their joints will actually open up and, you know, it'll be, it'll often they'll have maybe 20, 30% more range than someone like me. So it has its blessings and it has its curses. So I'm doing a series of classes and I hope you'll join me. Um, and this is specifically aimed at doing stability um, exercises for people who are hypermobile because you guys really need to work your poses differently. So if I have a class of two sets of people and one are hypermobile and one set aren't. When I'm doing, for example, a warrior pose, which is this pose here, that kind of pose, for somebody who's hyperflexible, that becomes a stability pose. That's what your focus has to be in your poses. Whereas for somebody who isn't hyperflexible, that might be a a pose where they're stretching to improve their flexibility. So you guys need to work your yoga poses differently. So we'll do a series of classes, maybe about three classes, just to teach you how to work the different poses in the way that's the best for you. But also there'll be a couple of classes just for stability poses um, that I hope you'll enjoy. So come join me and um, I will see you very soon.